Hi there, I am going to be solving today's New York Times crossword puzzle. So this is Wednesday, August 26th, 2020, and I'm going to be speaking my thoughts out loud as I solve this. If you'd like to follow along, you should see the clues toward the top of the screen in red. Alright, let's solve a Wednesday puzzle. Uh, that should be Otis Redding, right? And then Dungeons and Dragons Meanie is an orc. Okay, Blowout is a... a rave maybe? I've always been kind of confused. I'm not too into like the fantasy genre. I've always because orcs are also a thing in Lord of the Rings. So, and I thought that they were like made up by Tolkien for Lord of the Rings. So, did Dungeons and Dragons borrow Tolkien's creature, or like what's the deal here? Why is an orc a thing independent of both? Just a normal fantasy beast? I don't know. I, I wonder. Lighten one's wallet, so to speak. Is that like spend or something? And this is a romp? Maybe. Spend and romp. Mila Kunis. Nice. Old fashioned weapon for hand to hand combat. I'm not sure. Vacation goal in brief. R and R, maybe? Alright, Zodiac animal after fishes. A ram. Aries, right? Uh, constitution or independence in DC. Probably an avenue. Alright, we have enough for this. Solemnly promised. It took a vow. Not bad, Phil. Unaffected by. Um, immune to. Yeah, that's a that's a good stack to start our puzzle off. Should pioneer. That's Mott. All right, cool. What's this? Is this our first themer? I believe it is. Investment for a humorist. Uh, comic comedy, comedy something. Old fashioned weapon for hand to hand combat. I still don't know that. Um, Simon says perhaps. So com comedy's right. Comedy what? Begin it's in finance, that could be AIG, it could be something else. Uh, St. Lawrence. Okay, so I'll say AIG. Um, oh, is it comedy gold? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so I wonder if it's all gonna be phrases reinterpreted as like investment advice? Not sure yet. I'll see animal. That's a rue, isn't it? So saint is wrong. S oh, Sarah Lawrence. I knew that. I knew that. All right, sauce that's heavy on the go to the the vowel, vowels, aioli. That's kind of a fun clue. Completely off base is all wet, I think. Like advanced screens, informally, high def. Okay, cool. Insubstantial beverage or argument. Huh, what is this? Insubstantial beverage. I really don't know. All right, let's just do this corner then scoundrels i don't know could be imps could be something else though underhanded sort hmm 30 something actor ken i don't know that 30 something that movie that tv show whatever it is word before curriculum or meltdown whoa i'm struggling in this section i'm like not getting any of these proceeding by the shortest way uh Something ing, maybe? Election winner of 1908. Mm. Is that like Taft? Maybe? Much. A lot of? Oof. A lot of. That is all thanks to the F in Taft that I was keeping in my head. And now, now we might have a toehold in this section. I still don't know, Ken. Scoundrels are, uh... Rats, maybe? I don't know. Nothing's feeling really good for that. Proceeding by the shortest way, and then... What meltdown? Like a... I don't know. Okay. Dinner preceder on a dinner invitation. I don't know. Okay, so it is all investment jokes. Beef something. It is all investment jokes. That's Beto O'Rourke. All right. T-Mobile competitors, AT&T, Chicago Transport Choice, and L-Train. Great. And then what's up here? Prepared to be knighted is knelt. Good. I have heard of a dirk, but I just I wasn't confident enough to put it in. It may get hot under the collar. Nape. Nice. Good clue. Dodger beater. Mm, I don't know. This section's going to be hard for me. The Diamondbacks. Is that Arizona? Astro? I'm kinda I'm kinda stretching here, but those fit. 
So that's something. Way yonder is afar, so maybe I'm right. Beef stock. Ah, that makes sense. Nice. Okay, proceeding by the shortest way. Why are these so hard? Insubstantial beverage or argument. Weak. Weak is an insubstantial beverage. Is a weak what? A ton of maybe? Weak. It could be, it doesn't have to be a lot of. It could also be like lots of. So actually this could be several things. Weak. Uh, I don't know. Dinner procedure on a dinner invitation. Um. Man, it's hard. Whoa, oh, there's a revealer. I didn't expect a revealer. I thought it was all gonna make sense. I thought it was just gonna be like investment advice. Um, all right, so what is it? Collection that demonstrates job skills. Collection that demonstrates job skills. Work portfolio. Work portfolio. Huh. So I see. Wow, so it's a portfolio, like you might invest in gold, in stocks, we're probably gonna see bonds later. Um, and it's all different occupations, is that the idea with work? So work portfolio is like, yeah, this feels somewhat weak to me, I don't know why. Like, it's fine, but um, it's not, it's not exciting. I think that just the fact that the revealer is a little, like who says work portfolio? Um, and the entries themselves, like, it's a cute enough idea, but it's nothing to, like, be super jazzed about. So that's kind of my feeling right now. But let's keep solving and we'll talk more later. Cocktails. Cocktails. That's a great entry. And a hard clue for cocktails. Really hard. Actually, it wasn't actually really hard. It was just hard for me. I should be honest. Um, uh, why is this curriculum? Or a meltdown? Scoundrels or CADs. That was hard for me to see for some reason. Proceeding by the shortest way. Direct. Oof, that was hard for me too. What is this? What kind of meltdown are we talking about? Insubstantial beverage is a weak... Oh my gosh, this is really hard. A sneak? Is it a sneak? Core meltdown, oh my gosh. That's hard, and core curriculum. Really difficult clue for core. Honestly, maybe it wasn't for some people. I'm feeling like somehow this puzzle's just missing me and not other people. Sometimes I feel confident that other people are struggling too. Underhanded sort, sneak and weak tea. Wow, I've never heard of weak tea being referring to an argument. That, that I think if this were just insubstantial beverage, maybe I would've gotten this faster, honestly. And this is a lot of. That section was tough. I'm glad. I'm glad I got through it. It was. It was fair. It's just like uh, missing me somehow. That's Ava Gardner. It might be muted. A TV ad. A uh, part of Wonder Woman's outfit is probably a tiara. All right, let's go over here. Unwanted engine sounds. Not sure. What makes car care? An E. <laughs> I like that. Uh, I like. I like. Uh, I don't know. I like clues that actually deal with the, like, spelling of words in this way. Just like the clue on Aeoli that referenced all its vowels. It's just, I don't know, it's a different kind of clue, an E. That's, an A and E is a very lame letter string to be in a crossword puzzle, so to have a fun clue for it is, um, is not easy, and I appreciate that. Unwanted engine sound. Unless it's wrong, and then I'm gonna feel embarrassed for going on and on about it. What Hamlet meets in Act 5 of Hamlet. Tragic fate, tragic end. Wow, that's a good entry. The bonuses in this puzzle are really nice. Repair, mend. Okay, in a bit is soon. D uh, let's do this. Its founder was born in Mecca. It, uh, that's Islam, so it's not. It's Anon. Okay. Can't blame a guy for putting soon before Anon. Ditch, uh, lose. It's not an easy clue for lose either. Scorcher. Mm. 
a group of carol carolers may sing in it. That's unison. Like some gift bows. What's that gonna be? Like some gift bows. Yeah, not seeing that somehow. Investment for a physicist. Okay, so it is bond and it's ionic. Ionic bond. Interesting. I would have thought that more be a chemist than a physicist, but uh, fair enough. Unwanted engine sound. Is it a knock? Science fiction award is a Hugo, so a knock, I guess. Yeah, see, these things like this just doesn't isn't clicking with me. This entry and this clue just doesn't click. So I, I, somehow I feel like oh, this way puzzle just isn't on my wavelength, and uh, it's not really the puzzle's fault. A hot one, scorcher. That makes sense. Some gift bows. Stick on. Oh, interesting clue. Like this, this constructor is definitely bringing it. Like um. The, the extra fill and the clues are, are good. So like, I don't know, I'll, again, I'll keep solving and talk more later. Build some muscle, maybe tone up. Box office busts are bombs. Nice alliteration. The final frontier is space. Devilishly clever insults. We're definitely gonna find out one day that space is not the final frontier and it's actually like the fifth dimension or like the universe next door or something. Don't say final. Devilishly clever insults in slang. Burns, good. All right, the Tar Heels. UNC, probably. New Deal program with the slogan, we do our part in brief. Not sure. Do some modeling for artists as pose. All right, let's get this one. Uh, investment for a restaurateur. Menu option? Interesting. Wow. All right, 50 or more letters. What on earth does that mean? Hmm. Working stiff. I don't know. Strategic objective soon after the D-Day invasion. Hmm. Material collected in Minecraft. Is that ore? Do they collect ore? I don't really know. Aaron Burr what? Uh, let's see, a lot of things just also, yeah, not on my wavelength, this puzzle. It's agave. Ah, 50 or more letters, A, A, or R, P, wow, because it's like for people who are 50 and up. Tough clue. Um, let's see, intimated. Got at, I guess? Phone numbers, maybe like tells, is that right? Lil Nas X, Adidas competitor, I think that's a via. Let's see if I can get these crosses. Horror movie cry, it's alive, that's a fantastic entry. Uh, is that prole? Um, staple of Mediterranean cuisine, olive oil. Wow. All right, and what were these that I missed? Aaron Burr, sir, and then St. Lo, got it. All right, so that was our Wednesday puzzle. Um, you know, and uh, what, do I, what do I wanna say about this puzzle? I feel like it's somewhat rare that for a midweek puzzle like this or mid to late week puzzle like this that um, the theme doesn't excite me that much, and yet I really admire the puzzle. Um, some, somehow a theme is like your first impression of a puzzle, and if that sinks, then sort of the rest of the puzzle sinks with it. Um, but for me, there was just something about this theme that wasn't super exciting for me. Um, I think the revealer work portfolio, honestly, I would have liked this puzzle better without any revealer. I don't think it needed a revealer at all. It was just normal things in um, normal phrases reinterpreted as investment advice for various occupations. That like is a totally workable theme, no revealer necessary. And if you had a great revealer, maybe that could elevate it, but somehow work portfolio is just such a, I don't know, technical, not that common term. And, um, and you sort of have to stretch to even understand how it relates to the theme entries. Like yes, a portfolio is what you call like your investment portfolio and work having to do with all their occupations. But I don't know, it's just like, it doesn't snap, it doesn't click into place. So I think I would have preferred this without, without a revealer and even, and without a revealer, I mean, even so, it's it's a fine theme, but it's ultimately, you know, it's um, various types of investments. I, I don't know for for different jobs, it's it's fine, but it's uh, just I don't find it scintillating. Um, and and there was also I really I really liked the bonus material in this puzzle. There was a lot of it. Um, we had a good opening over here with took a vow and immune to. Then we have cocktails, tragic end, which is fantastic. 
uh, and then we have It's Alive and Olive Oil, which is a beautiful stack. So um, really well done. Plus, I mean, I, I, other stuff too. We even have a stick on over here and weak tea. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of good stuff. Yeah, and even even these little sections, you know, hot hot one and unison. So well done filling this this puzzle, Carl. Uh, I think it was really good. And the clues were a mixed bag for me. Some of the clues were um, really tough and tricky, and uh, in that late week way that I like. And some of the clues I felt like were totally fair, but they just weren't for me. Um, and obviously, like that's not the puzzle's fault. That's you know that's that's just uh, not every puzzle is going to connect with every person. So. Um, yeah, like I should know Aaron Burser by now, but I didn't. Uh, Saint Saint Low, and uh, what were the other ones that were just kind of like a oh, weak tea being an an, ar an phrase for an argument? And there was some other stuff that just wasn't working for me, like uh, word before curriculum or meltdown. Um, I, I don't know why. I just found some of the cluing on this like really tough and weird. Um, but yeah, I, I, I somehow get the sense that it wasn't that so much that the puzzle was off, but that like I was just not matching up with the puzzle. I liked the clue on uh, A N E be uh, un E because uh, A N E is just such bad fill in in crosswords. Nobody likes to have to put this in their puzzle. But what makes car care an E? <laughs> sure enough, there it is. I I don't know that uh, that made a normally unpleasant entry. Um, uh, I think quite pleasant, so I, I liked that. Uh, I also, the clue down here, this is, this is the type of clue I don't talk about that much, but um, these simple, you know, one word give you very little information, but like these remote uh, uh, connections between words, you know, like lose and ditch, I don't know, they don't, they don't immediately mean the same thing until you realize that, okay, it's the usage of the word lose, like, okay, you know, let's lose them, let's lose that car that's tailing us, let's lose this person who's annoying us, um, and that means ditch in that context. So these clues um, can be very understated, but sometimes are like the most challenging clues in the puzzle, and just because they're short, it doesn't mean they're easy to come up with. Clues like this can actually be quite hard to come up with, so um, I, I liked this. I also really enjoyed the clue on uh, AARP, 50 or more letters, because like, what the hell does that mean on first look? And then it's like, um, I don't know, letters that are for people who are 50 and up. That's that's a hard late week clue, and uh, I enjoy those. So I think that's all I'll say about this one, and uh, let me know what you guys thought. I will be back here tomorrow. I make these every Monday through Thursday for the New York Times. And if you're new here and you'd like to see more of these, then clicking the red subscribe button below the video is the best way to keep in touch. And uh, thank you so much for watching.